This is a film that is much bigger than Luther's particular church body. You have to live with the fact that a lot of people are not going to agree with you and also that some people are going to take your ideas and turn them. He had one of the most interesting stories of anybody in history. The church is being shaken and the world is changing because of what Luther's doing. Even if you have no faith at all or no religion at all, it's a story of history that radically changed how we live our lives every day. The film that we're attempting to make actually spans Luther's entire life. So that's always the biggest challenge, is that you've got to show somebody from small boy to, to, to his death. And the other problem, of course, you have with Luther is he doesn't just age, his appearance changes so dramatically. So we have to portray Luther throughout his life, through all the different you know, seven ages of Luther. And in terms of filmmaking, that's incredibly complicated. Now, you could say, well, you know, why have these dramatic elements? And the dramatic elements are there because it is a great story. I mean, he had one of the most interesting stories of anybody in history and really one of the more uh, significant figures of history. Of scripture, we should reject both Pope and councils. Luther, what he said and what he did and what he created and what he started makes him a standout historical character. What I'm trying to always do is make these stories as real as possible and to to make people feel as if they were there, as if they were in amongst the crowd, as if they were one of the people at the Diet of Worms, or they were with Luther as he's nailing the 95 Theses on the door, or as he's burning the papal excommunication. All those events, I want people to feel that they're in the crowd. We think it's important that um, there's an integrity to the project um, in terms of historical accuracy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, because we feel if you can create that, those people working on the project, and particularly the actors, can feel, you know, they're engaging with that period of time. And if they feel comfortable in engaging with that period of time, I think that comes across on the screen. Obviously, you always try and film events where they happen, if you can. Um, but if a lot of the places associated with Luther now are really tourist sites and so they don't have that authenticity, that feeling of being there at the time. We started looking around elsewhere in Europe that had that kind of 16th century feel in terms of architecture, uh, in, in terms of places, in terms of people. And uh, someone, uh, a friend of Hannah, had said, we worked in Poland, it's quite interesting, it's got a lot of history, and of course, it, uh, we had a sense that it might. During the scout, we went to many, many, many wonderful medieval buildings. We had you know, a lot to choose from. It was fantastic. It's an American production. It's a British drama team putting the drama together and we find ourselves in Poland with a Polish crew. So I, I think we could safely say it's an international production. I've really come to appreciate um, how collaborative such a project like this is. It requires not just one or two or even just a scholarly community, but um, the talents uh, and a creativity of a whole group of people. Um, whether it's from the building of sets, um, and whether it's from the vision of a director uh, or someone who double checks uh, the notes. In many ways, it's, it's sort of a picture of what, what Luther wanted uh, to see in the church. The idea that every person, no matter what their specialty, contributed to the larger life, a very collaborative effort. I tried to have an image in my mind about what the film is going to look like. So one of the first things that I like to do is try and get a mood set in my mind for that period of history. So I might have read something or seen some other movies which might set a precedent, which give me some clues, or look at some images, art images, some of the paintings from the period. And that'll give me a, an idea of how I want the film to look. There are some scenes in the film which are key to the plot and, and really the scene 
uh, when he nails his thesis to the door of the Wittenberg church is the key reason we're making the film, actually. I, th I think in the script it says Luther walks up to a church door and nails a piece of paper to it uh, and uh, walks away with friends, um, which is a very minor scene. So I wanted to try and build it, give it the, give it the dynamism that says this moment changed history and it shook the church. This is a film that is much bigger than Luther's particular church body. I think it's important to not make this um, a story for a tiny group, but it's really a story for everybody because even if you have no faith at all or no religion at all, it's a story of history that radically changed how we live our lives every day.